During an early shot of the scene where Vito Corleone returns home and his people carry him up the stairs, Marlon Brando put weights under his body on the bed as a prank to make it harder to lift him. Marlon Brando wanted to make Don Corleone look like a bulldog, so he stuffed his cheeks with cotton wool for the audition. For the actual filming, he wore a mouthpiece made by a dentist. The cat held by Marlon Brando in the opening scene was a stray that Coppola found while on the lot at Paramount Pictures and was not originally called for in the script. The smack that Vito gives Johnny Fontaine was not in the script. Marlon Brando improvised the smack and Al Martino's confused reaction was real. According to James Caan, Martino didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Francis Ford Coppola insisted on the film being called Mario Puzo's The Godfather rather than just The Godfather, because his original draft of the screenplay was so faithful to the novel, he thought Puzo deserved the credit for it. The scene where Sonny beats up Carlo took four days to shoot and featured more than 700 extras. The use of the garbage can lid was improvised by James Caan. Note the attention to detail, most of the cars have wooden bumpers. Bumpers were removed by car owners during World War II and replaced with wooden ones. The chrome ones were turned in to help with the war effort. According to Al Pacino, the tears in Marlon Brando's eyes were real. In the hospital scene when Michael pledges himself to his father, Marlon Brando did not memorize most of his lines and read from cue cards during most of the film. As a matter of fact, Marlon, who was the father of method acting, was famous for this. According to Mario Puzo, the character of Johnny Fontaine was not based on Frank Sinatra. However, it was widely assumed that it was, and Sinatra was furious. When he met Puzo at a restaurant, he screamed vulgar terms and threats at Puzo. 